Hey. All right, y'all. What's going on? Um, before we get started, well, let me start with the introduction first. Welcome back to the Snake Eyes into Dollar Channel. This is your boy Snake Eyes, obviously. Before we get started with this video, y'all do a few things for me. You like, comment, subscribe. For I kick all y'all asses. Now I'm just proud of you. Know I do already. For my both my social medias: Twitter, Snake Eyes underscore Dollar, the Dollar as a Dame Dollar. Instagram all lowercase snake eyes underscore w dollar. Uh, if you follow me on social medias, which I just listed uh, in the beginning, I said that I was going to do a double upload week, right? So it's going to be the Eagles video, and today we're going back to the button because I have to make sure that I adhere to my promise. So today's title, to, the title of today's video, God damn it, I can't talk. Kinky singles try and find love, all right? So hopefully y'all enjoy this one. Without further ado, let's get started. Oh shit, uh, alright, alright, alright. So this is what I wanted to say. So y'all remember the girl from the last video? She's now back, so just wanted to put that out there. Very So like, yeah, you ever consider white people? Will you consider it? We give it a try. If you don't like it, you can get your money back. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? She laid there like she was like playing the the bad, the, you know, the good cop bad cop. It's like she was playing the, the bad cop routine. What the fuck, yo? So he's like, I know you killed Walter, and you're going to pay for it. Get your ass out of here, yo. Like you stole a goddamn a ceiling, like a, a fuck it. The joke is coming out. Moving on. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. Get out of here. If two people can last on the date for ten minutes, they win an all expenses paid second date. This is the best. Bye. I'm Damn. Got that iron grip handshake, like that was awesome young bullshit. Nice to meet you. Man, she's strong as hell. You can tell. What the fuck? Okay. I quit. That was that's this gross misrepresentation. All right, all right, all right. First off, first off, first off, I got a lot of questions. Number one, why the fuck did I do this video? That's first and foremost. I'm already regretting this shit, but like I said, it's a double upload week. Uh, I promised y'all, and I'm gonna adhere to the promise. One, what the fuck was I actually thinking? Starting this, doing this goddamn video, first and foremost. Secondly, how the fuck would anybody know that unless you revealed that? Come on now. You, like, like they, they wouldn't know that unless you put that in the, I guess, the application where you sign up for the show or, or some shit and they start to ask you questions. Nobody asked you to share the information, sir. And then you were like, oh, damn, why you had to reveal that? Because you put it in the fucking application. What, what, what you expect? But hey, I'm, I'm gonna move on. Cause like, bro, you you but you apparently listen, you, you must have been not that embarrassed because if you literally wrote that shit down, there's no way they would know unless you let them know by writing it down in your application. So don't be surprised when this shit come up. Like, you already know how the button works, so I'm pretty sure that, like I'm pretty sure this ain't the dude first time, man. Be honest with you. <laughs> you fart <laughs> not regularly. Okay, what the fuck? All right, all right, all right, my nigga. All right, my nigga. All right, my nigga. All right, my nigga. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, first and foremost, bro. First and foremost, my nigga. If you're embarrassed by it, why are you proceeding to literally elaborate and tell what situation that this incident occurred? It doesn't make any sense. Did it ever occur to you that, hey, if you're embarrassed, stay embarrassed and shut the fuck up? Apparently not. Like, oh, pizza plate dressing ass nigga. Hey, I'll give you a hint. She ain't looking for your ass. <laughs> as soon as that motherfucker bust to come, she gonna hit that motherfucker fast as hell. It's gonna be faster than Jeffy. 
What is get your ass out of it? No, that was funny. Moving on. Did she look at this nigga like, yo, I can win this motherfucking car. I'm getting your ass. I'm sending your ass packing, bro. I'm telling you. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, now, Keisha Cole. I hope this ain't the way it is. But look, at the end of the day, moving forward, okay. Listen, I said, okay. Okay. Anyway, if you're going to hit the buzzer anyway, why did you act like you was going to answer his question or you're going to continue with dialogue? You don't want this nigga. You made it obvious. You, 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 you hit the buzzer. So again, like I said on plenty of the videos, you wasting my time, you wasting the buttons time, you wasting, uh, you keeping other contestants from coming on, you wasting Atlantic time, Pacific, so on and so forth. Y'all get the goddamn point. The thing is, if you're not interested in nigga, why continue to pursue the conversation? And also, if you knew you were going to bust, because I knew based on that, and that, that detail that the butt revealed, it was going to be a wrap. So I sit up there and literally want to continue the dialogue after. It don't make no sense. You, 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 at this point, you're just wasting everybody's time because you don't really give a fuck to get to know him. And I'm pretty sure you don't really care if he knows you or not. So why continue the conversation? You're just wasting air time at this point. It reminds me of uh, a motherfucking uh, Joe Budden. Don't Look. waste my camera time. He wouldn't make the joke. You Oh, wait, wait, wait. What the hell she said? So I guess he, she said that, that she can't be do, doing a date and route thing. So she wants, she's looking for a monogamous, a monogamous. Fuck! She's looking for a monogamous. <laughs> it brought me a weapon. You want to be a part of my monogamy? <laughs> you want to be a, you want to be a part of my monogamy? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, ah, uh, pretty hot-headed. Hmm. Okay, number one, then why the fuck you dating? If you got a temper problem, why are you dating? If you don't know how to communicate, why are you dating? Your ass need to set a date for therapy. Fuck dating somebody else. How the hell are you going to give somebody else anything if you don't have anything for yourself? See, I can't stand motherfuckers do that. Like, this is the reason why I ain't really with nobody right now. Because number one, I know myself, right? One is, I got to get my shit together. I'm nowhere near... Getting that together whatsoever. Some of it's my fault. Other things is just shit that's beyond my control right now. It's fucked. I'm doing the best I can. I ain't bitching about it. Moving on. Listen. Bottom line is this. I can't say when motherfuckers try to get to relationships and you know that you're not right yourself. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. Like, and, and she said she's looking for a monogamous relationship. Who is going to commit to someone that isn't ready for commitment? Drop some bars there. But anyway. Uh, yeah, like, like, at the end of the day, like, you have, to look, you have to look at it like this. Like, if you're not right inside, and you got some issues, and you don't know how to control your temper, or you shut down, or you, you don't know how to communicate properly when you're upset, you don't know how to express yourself in, in healthy ways, you don't need a, another, a partner. You need a goddamn therapist. Like, the fuck? Like, you need to partner up with a person that's going to help you get to your damn issues. Like, come on, now. Uh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Before I let her get this joke off, I can promise you right now that motherfucker's not gonna be funny. Anytime you gotta elaborate before the joke, you gotta, like, literally did. Like, you know how villains at the end of every movie and shit? Like, they be, they be assuming that the, the, the main character, the, the protagonist, is gonna die. They be like, yeah, I bet you wouldn't be able to find out that I left the, uh, I don't know if I'm on YouTube. The B O M B in the attic, and I promise you, you'll never find it. And the code is 0702. I promise you, you won't disarm that motherfucker. <laughs> and I put it in the trash can. Good luck. And they be thinking that the motherfucker gonna die. Little do they know that, like, the protagonist finds a way to break out the tiles or some shit. And then, literally, the, the dumbass villain told their whole plans and everything. That's what this shit remind me of. Like, if you if, if if you nice with the jokes, I'm just gonna put that motherfucker out there. I ain't gonna sit up there and be like, yeah, well, I have this joke in mind. It was a, a people in a bar, right? One was wearing a cowboy hat, the other was wearing a kango. Like, get the fucking joke out. If you're funny, you're funny. That bitches go out right away. And honestly, with all due respect, I ain't trying to judge nobody. Like, you look like you too goddamn quiet 
to be like a a, a, a jokes like maybe I, I could believe you're sarcastic but to be like a, like like a comedic comedian you too damn quiet you like you like you, you are you self-conscious about your you know what I'm about to go too far saying so what well, not because I wanted to because I, I'm just like in the heat of the moment bottom line is this a funny motherfucker you know they funny right off the bat because they, they got energy they're 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 confident and they just they they spew that motherfucker out right away. They're, they're not they're not really telegraphing it. They're not not t um, that shit don't make any sense. But they're not taking all damn day. They're like yo like boom boom we the the jokes coming out. You know what I'm coming from? So that's that's how that normally work. It's not just, if you're a funny motherfucker, you're not just you're not just giving like a whole goddamn blueprint about and bullet points and main idea and details and essays. No, if you funny that bitch just come out right away. Like, you know. Right within 30 seconds of meeting a person, if you're having a regular conversation, this motherfucker got a sense of humor. That's just some senseless bullshit. Yo, I swear to God, this is what I love about my people, bro. We do not hide when we don't like shit. We gonna let your ass know about it. You remember that Michael Jackson did when it was, it was We Are the World or something else? They was in the studio. You see where Michael Jackson was looking at these, uh, these other singers, like, singing terrible shit? But if you just One thing about our people, we gonna let your ass know. Maybe not verbally, but we gonna look at your ass like, and you know right off the bat, like we don't, we don't do a good job of hiding this shit. One thing about black people, we tell your ass like, if, if you ask, we gonna like look at you like, yeah, it, it, it's it's like that 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 what the fuck face. It's like, you know what I'm saying? We don't hide that motherfucker. <laughs> she wasn't like, hiding that shit at all. She. <laughs> Yo, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Damn. Secure? Y'all like to say what the fuck is that? Sexy dungeon like club music. <laughs> I never heard of shit like Fuck that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The button always gotta fuck shit up. And every time, like, shut your ass up. You are the mediator, bro. I don't know who's worse. You or Molly from first take. Shut the fuck up. We don't need no listen. No. Like I said on countless videos over and over again, they both speaking the same language, they both speaking English. We don't need, you can butt your ass out of it. They having a conversation, I want to hear their conversation. There's an A, B conversation, the exit over that way, see your ass out of it. Like, what you doing? Like, shut up. Shut up. Real quickly though, I was about to say like, why the fuck they asked that question? But they both got, I think they both got pierced. I know the, I know, I know all the other girl that was from the previous, but I know she definitely got that. That's obvious. But they got tattoos, so I'm like, where the fuck is that question coming from? It's because they have a lot of tattoos, and the other girl also has a piercing. She might have a piercing too. I, I, just, I, I don't see it. Damn, you just did an embarrassing detail. You just laughing that motherfucker off. You're like, yeah. I tripped down the stairs and I got this big ass knot on my head. <laughs> it's just funny, ain't it? I'm like, what the fuck? Like, yo. I'm fucking dead. Hold on. <laughs> like, yo. What the fuck am I here? Alright, man, we good. No, I have a nipple. It's oh. just like, it kind of has like a little split in the center of it. Oh. I just got caught on the door and it just ripped it right out. Damn! Damn, she casted the motherfucker say that shit. I'm surprised. Cause I I, I think the the uh, Leilani, I'm about to say Kaylani, Leilani wanted it to keep going. That was like the most sophisticated ass rejection that would be like. Mm. Honestly, we had a conversation, but it's not really going in the direction that I wanted to. I like the most sophisticated, a uh, little fucking Ivy League ass rejection I ever heard in my life. I swear to God, that shit funny as hell.
Damn, nigga. The arrogance is put. It's like, I am a queen. Girl, if you don't get your little fucking I'm free to cousin it ass on what? Jesus Christ, her ass sound like a serial killer. Jesus. Oh my son, like, uh, like, I, don't, I don't like the energy. I'm gonna let it go, but I don't like the energy so far, bro. I ain't gonna look. Alright, man, I hate this world, bro, for real. <laughs> she lost that bet, like, I am not. Yeah, think about that shit. She like, fuck out of here. If you ain't into what I'm into, but I have a nice day. <laughs> fuck the tattoo. I have a nice day, nigga. <laughs> you know, pull out your phone, take a picture of my shit, and look that shit on Google. You'll find Honky Ball. Oh, shit. I'm with y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, stop. Why are you whispering? There's no reason for you to whisper. We all have to hear what you're saying. Jesus Christ. Hold on. Let me see this. I think you're just a little too shy for me. You'd be surprised once you get to know me. This nigga's scared. I can tell, I can tell. Yo, I must have got some fucking bodies, the chopped up bodies and shit, and some rock wellies probably eating off that motherfucker in your backyard and she probably, I swear to God. Her ass gets some, it, listen, it could be just me, but her ass gets some serial killer vibes. I'm just saying, she a little bit, she like, she, her way she talking, her energy is just like, ugh, like, nah, hell, that's like, get the hell away from like six feet, motherfucker, we back in COVID days, nigga. <laughs> Quarantine your ass, boy. Um, which is hilarious because I don't actually know. Damn, that's Yeah. Like you should have asked something else. It's a yes or no question. You still love it or you don't? Apparently you do, so just answer the question. Man, I don't blame it on her. This, this, this motherfucker hard, bro. To live by yourself? Um, I probably will stick with having roommates. You like roommates? I go a little crazy if I'm alone. So you get your bum ass out of here. I'm, I'm not mad at her for that. Fucking Brock Purdy making $800,000. Still with his roommate in San Francisco, and I said I heard San Francisco got a high ass like like they income they they prices as far as like the the cost of living is high as fuck. So I'll blame it, they, this motherfucker hard. If you are not even willing, keep it all the way a buck with you. If you're not willing to spend at least fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars a month for an apartment, you better off not even getting one, bro. So I'll I ain't even mad at her. I don't think she like as long as yo, as long as she working and she taking care of herself, bro, like and as long as she whatever the agreement is between the roommates and she doing her part, I ain't putting no judgment nobody. This motherfucker is hard, bro. Like, hey, listen, it is what it is. Like I'm not no judgment here. I don't want to live with anybody. I don't like roommates. Oh that's fair that's fair. That's fair, you know what I'm saying? I feel like such a bitch. Like truly Nah. I <laughs> hey, go Rob Schneider again. Oh, yeah, what the fine. fuck? You seem like also a kinky person. Is that a crime to read? I am. That is a big part of my life. I didn't know you read like this. Maybe I should have a book where I'm reading like this. Be like, yo, 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 chapter one. Once upon a time, in this motherfucker, a kid took a lighter and burned the house down. <laughs> like, come on now. <laughs> First. We evolved to, <laughs> with the, what is it called, magma, magna, whatever the fuck they did, manga. We went from reading right to left, now we gotta read like this and shit. <laughs> the hell the world come to, bro, I'm playing. I'm also interested in other things, what are you passionate about? I've kind of always wanted to be like a smoky jazz lounge singer. Yeah, damn, nigga, you pull a rank on your ass. 
She pulled rank on his ass. Like, hit that motherfucking button. Push the goddamn button. That's it. We, we done. You don't like me? Bye, nigga. Like, God damn. She pulled rank on his ass. Sir, yes, sir. At ease, soldier. God damn. She pulled rank on his ass. <laughs> For toy soldiers, bro. Like, get sick out of here, bro. Put the 90s cut on this shit, nigga. Show us out here. Like, I'll do edible. <laughs> I hope you find who you're looking for. You too. Hi. Hey, brought her back? Do you like EDM? This is so important to me. Yeah, I like music. Yeah, it's about the dance, too. Okay. I hate it. Okay. I hate it. Wait, 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 wait. If if you know and listen, I would never ask somebody if they're interested in something if I'm not interested. That that shit makes no sense. I'm only gonna ask questions of things that I'm interested in just to see if the other person. That shit makes no sense. But yeah, is your favorite color black? No, good, cause I fucking hate black. Then why are you asking a goddamn question? In like the fuck, just asking what what my favorite color is. That's it. But now that that's just yo, I hate when motherfuckers do that. I'm being honest with you. It's not my Shut your ass up, bro. You don't need like the, the button was to be included so bad, bro. I swear to God, it's like having a friend, or maybe not even a friend. Let's just say you hanging out with with your homies, right? And you got this one dude who like kind of brand new, just just on the scene. And a motherfucker, no matter what the moment is, always try to make the moment about them. They always try to crack these lame ass jokes, and they don't understand that they not funny. So they, they just keep going because they trying to make themselves the center of attention. That's what this shit remind me of. This whole episode, I'm not going to lie, is pretty damn good. We don't need your ass. I, I know kind of like the irony is I'm in rough, but like, like it's a goddamn reaction. I do what the fuck I want to do. You, you, you don't like it, go to somebody else's channel. It is what it is. But I'm going to try to interrupt the video anymore. Bottom line is this, right? I, like, that's what this shit remind, remind me of that nigga that, like, would be with your homies, like, this brand new nigga that's, like, just out, not even in your circle, that's just trying to do everything they can to, like, make it about them. It's kind of remind me of goddamn, uh, Keemstar when he was on, uh, the, the Tory Lanez and Aiden Raw stream. It's like, this nigga just don't know when to stop. Like, bruh's not funny. You gotta read the room. If your jokes ain't funny, if you ain't funny, that's fine. Just be regular. You, like, like, listen, you could be friends... You can be a cool ass nigga just being regular. You ain't got there's some motherfuckers that got a sense of humor or funny. Some people who got a personal motherfuckers are just boring as fuck, and that's fine. If you a plain Jane ass nigga, be a plain Jane ass nigga, but don't try to be try so hard because you only gonna end up embarrassing yourself. Is, is what I'm trying to say. So. Bruh, she had to like. And remind me of fucking Rocky Ford hit the one in the middle. This, she, this nigga at moved his head as if there was like she like had like also on some uh what they call it uh Mr. Smith type shit or from, from the Matrix. Like she just had like three of them motherfuckers, like three duplicates or so like two duplicates, one on the left, one on the right or, or type shit. Like this, she's she stood in the same place the whole time. And like, what are you looking at? What's over there? Say hell yes. Watch. How about here? Good. Very colorful. Don't. Nice. Very <laughs> I don't know. Fuck that fight. Fuck with each other. Maybe not. I'm not a person with autism, but like I have dated a lot of people with autism, so it's really comforting to hear that, actually. Why should someone date you two? Uh, I'm too honest. It's really hard when like somebody's like, do you like these shoes? And I'm like, no. <laughs> Lot for someone to handle. 
Somehow. But anyway, uh, that was the video. Uh, honestly, I thought she was going to reject his that Like, once he put the drugs and shit, and it was like, there's some other shit, I thought it was like, oh, a red flag. But she seemed like she was cool with it. So, they was vibing. That's good. All right? That's it, y'all. Enjoy the rest of y'all Monday, the work week, so on and so forth. I love you guys. I'm out of here. Hope y'all enjoyed the video.